Hi, I'm Mr Craven from the NET director team, and I'm going to be talking you through the poem Ozymandias by Percy Shelley. Shelley was one of the Romantics, a group of poets in the 19th century who were passionate about the natural world, human experience, and social justice. In the poem, Shelley describes meeting a traveller from an ancient land who recalls seeing a fragmented and decaying stone statue in the desert. Only the legs are still standing, while the shattered visage lies in the sand nearby, slowly sinking. On the pedestal, there's a note saying, My name is Ozymandias, King of Kings. Look on my works, ye mighty and despair. Around the statue, there's just the desert sand stretching out far away. What Shelley's exploring is the idea that all things and all people, no matter how powerful or seemingly important, ultimately fade into nothingness. Rather than people, it's time and nature which are really powerful, though we could also include art and therefore the artist in that list. Rather than lasting power, the statue actually shows how temporary and transient we are, how limited. This could link to a number of things. The growing power of the British Empire, King George, someone Shelley really wasn't a fan of, Christianity and the Church, or simply religion in a general sense. The poem's written as a sonnet, which is rather an old-fashioned form, and usually associated with love. Shelley's poem, however, is about arrogance, about self-love, so this fits, and it's an old-fashioned form about an ancient subject. The rhyme scheme is slightly unusual for a sonnet, and Shelley uses some half rhymes to fit the mood. Shelley also uses a lot of cesuras to fragment some lines, running on others, and alliteration to link some words and ideas. The importance of the poem lies in its presentation of power. We've got overwhelming masculine dominance, but presented as temporary, deluded, and doomed due to hubris. In this sense, it's a very neat comparison for My Last Duchess, in terms of the Duke, though the power of time, nature and the past can also link to the prelude, kamikaze, storm on the island and exposure. It's flexible. As one of the shorter poems and most accessible poems in the anthology, this is a good choice for one of your hubs. There's a basic narrative, strong central images, some engaging themes, and an array of literary techniques used by the poet which you can discuss, along with some relevant context.